you might recognize that riff. That is the 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 uh, last solo uh, or the guitar solo of the last section of uh, "Dust My Broom" by Elmore James. I believe the recordings from the early '50s, um, something like that. But uh, easily accessible. Um, it's not a, a, a obscure cut or anything. So if you don't have it. Uh, plenty of avenues to to uh, to get this version of, of Dust My Broom. So it's in open D. Um, so if you're if you're not familiar with open D, um, I tuned to a tuner not too long ago, so we should we should be pretty close. Um, it is the sixth string down to D. Uh, the yeah sixth string down to D. The A stays A. Fourth string D stays a D. Third string goes down to F sharp. Second string goes down to A. First string goes down to D. Open D. So, uh, and I believe the recording of Elmore is, is pretty close to to a 440 tuner, so you don't have to do a ton of adjusting. Maybe a little bit, but I, I'm, if I remember correct, it's pretty pretty close to, to regular standard 440. So. Um, yeah, let's learn the phrases. Um, that's the main thing. That's the main goal of this lesson here is to just give you the phrases. Um, you can listen to the recording and try to play along to try and string it all together in a, in a, in a guitar form, you know, in a guitar solo form, either by listening and or playing along with Elmore. I, I suggest trying to play along as best you can. Um, and then, you know, at least once you get these phrases under your belt, try to play them along with the recording. You can also use pretty much any standard 12 bar blues backing track in the key of D. You can, you can play this guitar solo along with it. Um, and there's, you probably know there's a ton of that stuff on YouTube. So, um, but let's get the phrases. Uh, that's the, the main goal here today. Um, so we're going to start uh, with our slide on the 10th fret of the four string. And uh, let me kind of get the way that a better way that you can see it up the neck here. So 10th fret, four string. We're going to go into 12 of the four string to 11 of the third string back to 12 of the four string. That's the very first phrase. And I believe that starts, if you were to try and string it all together on your own, you would start on the and of four. So one two, three, four, excuse me, uh, but that's, that's the very first phrase, uh, pretty easy, again, that's 12, uh, or um, 10 on 4, 12 on 4, 11 on 3, 12 on 4, okay, the good news is the next phrase starts exactly the same way, but we're going to tack this onto the end of it, um, we're going to go to 2 on the 10th fret, Back to 11 on 3, to 12 on 4, to 12 on 5. And that's going to kind of trail off. So, start the same. See? Let's try that um, again. So, I'll go through those frets. First part, 10 on 4, 12 on 4. 11 on 3, 12 on 4. Next part starts exactly the same. 10 on 4, 12 on 4, 11 on 3. Now we're jumping up to the second fret or second string, 10th fret. Back to 12 on 3, uh, 4 on 12, 5 on 12. Ice cream man just went by. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's the very first phrase. Um, and again, uh, I'm gonna, I think you would start on the and of four. I'm going to count off uh, a measure, and we'll try to play this together. Start on the and of four uh, after this this count. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, 
that's the main main phrase. The good news is the next section is identical to that. Uh, so let's talk about that that whole phrase just a little bit more for a moment. Um, when when you do it, you, you kind of want to keep contact with the strings the whole time and be as smooth with this back and forth motion as you can. I call it kind of call it in and out. You know, when I'm sliding to my right, it's in. When I'm sliding to my left, I think of that as out. I don't know why. It just kind of helps me think of this nice in out. You know, back and forth, nice smooth smooth uh, uh, slide, really, <laughs> think about it. Um, you don't want it to be choppy. I mean, that's not wrong, you know, uh, but it's got this really nice vocal quality to it when Elmore plays it, uh, and kind of keeping contact with the strings is important. And doing things like when you play the 11th fret on third string, you want to slide into that. Don't go directly to 11 or when you play the 10th fret on two you're sliding into it you know the whole time it's nice contact see that it's just kind of vocal like you're bending a string by sliding into it that kind of helps get that phrasing down um, but it's really important to listen to the song because i think what happens is when you hear El when you hear Elmore play it, uh, you get that sound in your head. And when you try to apply that, if you know where to go, if you know what notes to play, when you try to apply it to the guitar neck, I think your your body kind of takes over and does what it needs to do, sometimes subconsciously, um, and and does what it needs to do to get the sound that you're hearing. Um, and that takes a lot of time, a lot of practice, you know, no doubt, uh, but. That's why listening to this is so important. So that's the main first phrase. Right? And you can mute behind the slide or you can have the fingers off. It really depends on how dirty or how clean you want the notes to be, you know. So on and so forth. Pretty simple lick though. Now, we got a lot of time in between those two phrases. So we're going to fill that with a, a, a little shuffle rhythm. Um, and that you can do a couple different ways. And there's a lot of ways, but I'll show you two ways you can do it. Um, you know, it's just basically playing the sixth and fifth strings one way. You know, that shuffle pattern. A lot of you are probably familiar with this already. And then I'm alternating between the fifth string on the uh, second fret and open. So you're getting this. And you can also, another way of doing it is kind of an E7 shape here. You got my third string on the first fret as well. And you can alternate those open to fret it. And you can get all the strings. Right? And that gives you an option to get some up strums and some different accents going on. You know, practice however you want, um, but more and more, like I, I keep saying, listen to the recording and, and try to, you know, put, put it together. But, you know, again, the goal here is to get you the phrases um, and then and try to play along and listen and, and it'll, it'll come, you know, it'll take some time. Uh, so we got the first phrase. So now let's look at the end, uh, the last part. Uh, we're starting on the 12th fret of the second string. We got kind of a, a long drawn out. I think that's like one full beat. Then the next um, part is going to be two kind of quicker strikes, also second string 12th fret. And again, so you get. All on the second string 12th fret. And it's all sliding in, 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 in. You're not going. Right? It says. It's that nice vocal quality that you can get um, with, with the slide that you can't always get with just playing uh, with your fingers. The frets kind of get in the way. You know, you got a lot of notes here. It's more of a vocal quality. Okay. Now. 
Now, after you play that, we're going to get that. Okay, so coming from that second string part, play the, uh, again, the third string 11th fret, four string 12th fret, slide that four string down to 10, don't strike the string, just stop at 10, come back to 12, and play that, that uh, fifth string on the 12th. It's kind of like a pull off, you know, with the slide. Just by stopping there, it'll play the note. And then you come back, slide into 12 on the fifth string. Okay. And the good news is the end of that is we go back and play uh, the second second section, second part of the first lick. Same, same as it was before. So we put those together, you get this. solo and we got this little outro I'll show you here in a second but um, I believe that starts on the downbeat so I'm gonna give you a measure try to play that with me we'll both start on on beat one one two three four whoops <laughs> mess that up one two three four time together. One, two, three, four. Not too bad. Pretty simple stuff. Let's go one more time. One, two, three, four. It's a little turnaround lick. This is the way I do it. Okay. Um, so I'm playing the fifth string and first string together on the third fret, on the second fret, first fret to open. Kind of just open chord. But rhythm is, uh, the way the rhythm goes. So... step so I got my my slide on 12 fretting about three to four top few strings top three or four strings then all of them and let them ring out that's the whole part so I'm just gonna go over the phrases by themselves I'm not gonna try and string it all together because I really just want you to get the phrases play with the track to get everything all together so the first two phrases basically are the same thing, so um, those go this way again. Let's, uh, uh, starting on and a four. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time together. One, two, three, four. Last phrase, starting on 12th fret, 2nd string. I believe we start on a downbeat there. One, two, three, four, one. Whoops, let me count that again. One, two, three, four. Okay, I messed that one up a little bit. Let's try again together. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time since the first one was a little rough. One, two, three, four. Outro. 